Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Wednesday, June the 5th, and I've had this bad boy now for about a day. Um, didn't get a chance to do anything on it yesterday. Uh, so without further ado, it's an E10 box, so we're not gonna go too crazy on doing a unboxing and packaging and all of that. Um, this is the Sundown Audio VEX series. So the VEX series is gonna be a, a Pro Audio 10 inch and hopefully other sizes in the future. We're not too sure what's going on. Um, so it's a 10 inch Pro Audio speaker. Um, this one happens to be a 10 inch 4 ohm just for testing purposes. Uh, again, we're not 100% sure if this is the final cut or if this is what it's gonna be or anything of it, but this is just for testing currently. Um, Jake posted, I believe it was like last week Friday and got a shitload of interest on this thing. I mean, anything that guy posts, he gets a shitload of interest. So basically, uh, we're just gonna do today a quick unboxing, open it up. Uh, one of the major concerns was the depth of the speaker and he packed it up and shipped it out without getting a measurement of the depth. So I'm gonna handle that in this video. I'm just gonna do a quick video. Like I said, I'm still at home having my morning coffee. Cheers to everyone, coffee's great. And you guys gotta stay tuned and share and follow and like and all that good stuff on social media to have some of to be able to see some of this crazy testing that's going to be done to these uh pro audio mids um it's it's going to be insane i got a, a little surprise trick up my sleeve where one of them is actually going uh it's it's going to be nuts let's let's just get to the product so hopefully my future videos will be better than this but this is just spare the moment at home with a Good old GoPro Hero 7. So, like I said, we're not gonna go crazy with packaging because it's in an E10 packaging and a plastic bag. Just for shipping, getting it out to me right away. Like I said, one of the major concerns was the overall depth. So let's just get that out the way. Let's just grab a good old fast cap tape measure. Love these things. Got them in righty, lefty, uh, soft, you name it. I got all of them. Um, so the overall depth is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but to the bottom of the mounting flange, we are at four and three quarters of an inch. So from bottom of the motor to bottom of the mounting flange, we're at four and three quarter. It's not the shallowest thing out there, but again, we're, we're not dealing with uh, a neodymium in any way. We're not dealing with a shallow mount, um, mid-range driver, of speaker, loudspeaker, anything you want to call it. We're dealing with high sensitivity and major uh, frequency response here. Um, I'll give you a side shot here of it and a rear so it looks to see the sun on audio laser etched i'm hoping that with the new models and everything coming out that jake decides to do the company's branding and the model and hopefully the homage in a situation like this being a eight ohm or a four ohm speaker uh the basket is sexy as hell um and for durability and uh being used in a high spl application which is a lot of our guys out there man it, like you know we got some guys out there who are just ripping speakers to part because of the pressure level that's in their cabin when they're doing these demos and it, this carbon fiber and this is 100 percent real carbon fiber um, this is gonna solve a lot of these issues, the strength, durability. Uh, this has a Neo cap on it as well to raise that sensitivity. Um, the W surround, it's just, this is gonna add durability uh, to the high SPL guys out there who are doing these crazy demos. And as well as it's gonna add some sort of, you know, environment resistance. You know, you, you got a lot of uh, UV rays, you get a lot of moisture. There's a million and one things. We'll, we'll get into detail as time comes with this. We'll, like I said, first run, gonna do a lot of testing on this thing, folks. Stay tuned, short video, keeping it sweet. Um, if you guys can, you know, 
my YouTube channel channel isn't anything major. Um, give it a like, give it a follow. Uh, you know, see whatever you guys can do. Share the hell out this video because this is my only means of communication. With you guys is making these little videos on this and putting this out there. You, there's a huge surprise with one of these things. Huge surprise where it's gonna end up. Just you know, fingers crossed. Everything goes well and no hiccups in the road of it. But we got a lot of testing to do with these things and a lot of uh stories that are well known in the pro audio industry and but yeah let's get all that stuff done let's just do a nice little close-up as close as we can get like i said i don't own any fancy high-end camera and all of that but it's just doing this with a regular gopro so you got the hero 7 so let's get it down i hope i don't scratch my damn counters but all in the name of audio all right, guys, share the hell out this thing. Let's get some uh, reviews, some questions. Um, we did the overall depth. It was a major, major thing. I'm, I'm not even sure the diameter on this thing. It's showing me overall outside diameter. We're at 10 and a quarter. So keep that in mind. We got 10 and a quarter. It's a steel basket from what I can tell. I'm going to verify that, but it seems that way. And that's it. Hopefully, we're going to have a ton of videos uh, to follow this. Thanks, guys.